Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be an all signs reading. This will be for those of you who are just unsure about your person's feelings. It could be a past person or a new person, whoever you have on your mind or whoever has you on their mind. If you're just unsure or you're confused or you're just needing clarity or if you're not able to, you know, communicate with them or every time you communicate it's a misunderstanding or there's a blockage in communication we'll see what's going on i'm gonna pull um collective messages in the beginning for all signs and then we'll do from aries to pisces after the collective okay check out the description box you can like share and subscribe i really appreciate that and i love you guys so much thank you for supporting our channel thank you for keeping us in rotation with the like or a comment and especially with your subscribes my goal is to get to 2k subscribers um by october so let's see if we can do it y'all y'all really are making my dreams come true so you can book a personal reading with me follow me on my social media but check the description box you guys let's jump into it holy spirit holy angels what messages do you have for the collective what messages do you have for the collective please Okay, what else, please? All right, I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. What other messages do you have for the collective? Okay. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. So I usually read the pink as the feminine and the blue as the masculine. But of course, masculine and feminine can be interchangeable. So the masculine says, I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. So since the breakup, they feel like they've abandoned you. They've abandoned themselves. They abandoned this connection. They want to reconcile. Okay. And you, the feminine, have said our love was too intense for me to handle. And I needed the breakaway. So the feminine isn't really too upset about it. Of course, the feminine is upset. Or your feminine side is upset. But honestly, the breakaway has been, you know a stress relief the masculine says no one ever loved me again the way you did i never appreciated you until you were gone okay this masculine is finally learning how to appreciate you now that you're gone i don't know what happened or what you did but this feminine got really upset got really hurt and said some hurtful things and now they wish they could take back those hurtful things that they said it was wrong to take out their frustration on you. So it seems like both of you are really frustrated in this situation. Okay. Both missing each other. The masculine. I feel like the masculine energy is missing the feminine just a little more. But I feel like it was because it took a lot more for the feminine to have to actually really try and just completely get over this. All right. Okay, collective. We're going to jump into the all signs all the way from Aries to Pisces. Ooh. Okay. Aries. All right. Tell me about Aries, Aries person, and tell me about the situation. Aries, if you've been having a hard time communicating with someone, it's been blockages in communication, or it just seems like there's been miscommunication and you two just can't come together or can't come to an agreement, or every time you say something, it's misinterpreted, we're going to see 
what messages we can get from your person. This is for Aries. The Two of Pentacles, needing to prioritize, unsure, just very unsure, overworking, could be an earth sign you're dealing with, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who knows? The Five of Pentacles, because of this juggling, because of this uncertainty, because someone wasn't able to prioritize as effectively as they thought, someone had to leave or someone got left someone's feeling emotionally abandoned somebody's feeling left out in the cold someone's feeling like their needs aren't being met someone is feeling like they just don't have enough or you're not giving enough Six of Pentacles. Why is all of this earth coming out for you, Aries? You can have earth in your chart. I feel like you might be the only one who was communicating. You keep communicating, keep communicating, but it's not get, getting you anywhere. Now, the Six of Pentacles could be a breadcrumbing energy because of the Five of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. It's just not enough to go around. So maybe your person is going through financial loss. They can't spend as much time with you. They can't spend as much money with you. They can't give to you. Or this is just completely how you feel. You feel like this person isn't prioritizing you. You feel like this person isn't meeting your emotional, physical, financial needs. And you feel like they're breadcrumbing you. We have the King of Cups. It could be a water sign. And the Devil. You feel like there's a toxic emotional attraction to them. It's like, why can I not leave this person alone? But I'm trying so hard. I'm using all my strength to just try to have a breakthrough. Or will I need to just use all of my strength to stop talking to them? Right now... I don't see that it's worth fighting for. I don't see it. Because the king of cups and the devil coming out means emotional manipulation. And whether they're doing it to hurt you or doing it to protect you. It's still hurting you anyway. What would this person like to say? I lost myself for a little while. Okay, this person has lost themselves and you can't follow somebody who's lost because you will get lost as well in the confusion, in the uncertainty. What would this person like to say to Aries? You came closer than anyone. Okay, what else? I was just going to ask, how does this person feel? They want to tell you how they feel. I wish they treated you better. Yeah, this person has no sense of direction when it comes to emotions, when it comes to catering to someone's emotions or meeting people's needs. This person just doesn't know how. Okay? So it seems like that's where the miscommunication or the delay or the block is coming from because they just don't know how. And you're like... Aries, you haven't even showed up at all in your own reading, so you possibly are not talking to this person anymore. Or you feel like it's useless to talk to this person when you're just not getting anywhere with them. I see Leo, Capricorn, and a lot of Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, and Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Moving on to Taurus. All right, Taurus. If you've been having blockages in communication or you just can't see eye to eye with your person, or if this is someone you haven't talked to in a long time, whoever you're thinking about, whoever is thinking about you. 
If you just have been having delays in communication, blocks in communication, misunderstandings, misinterpretations, let's see if we can find out more about you, your person in this situation. All right, this is for Taurus. The Queen of Swords could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody wants to be open and honest and truthful with you and communicate with you. That they love you. The Two of Cups. Okay, have they? Are they going to tell you? The Empress, yes. Yes, they will. You're the Empress to this person. This person is the Empress to you. And I feel like you're so protective over this person. Like, it's serious. They got it bad or you got it bad. The world. Beautiful energy. Yeah, they want to start a new cycle with you. Go to a higher level of commitment with you. Yeah, the fool. This person is a fool about you. Strength. Okay, they're trying to hold it together. Could be dealing with an Aries. Clarify strength. Or it could just be a Leo. You've been popping up in um, Leo's readings a lot, Taurus. The Six of Cups. Yeah, this person is like, I'm going to fight for this. That's what I see. We have the Ace of Wands. I'm going to fight for this. Taurus is my person. Or you're like this, you know, Cross Watcher is my person. I love them. I'll fight for this. I want a new beginning. I want to start fresh. I want something completely different than what it has been. Okay, I want to have kids with this person. I want to get married to this person. You want me to tell you? Mm -mm. Okay. You look beautiful. Thanks, <laughs> um, Wash Okay, good. <laughs> I see this new beginning with the fool this new beginning with the ace of wands this new beginning with the world card so it's like i feel like this person is a big planner with the queen of swords i feel like why wouldn't y'all be talking look strength is at the bottom of this deck too it's a leo why wouldn't y'all be talking right now if there's blockages in communication and things like that six of swords the two of cups again, y'all, look. Ain't no blockages in this communication, y'all. If y'all are not talking, talk to this person. Or, let me see. This person is patiently waiting, but we have the two of cups twice. There's love here. There's the soulmate here. Or this could be a new job that is perfect for you. New beginnings are coming. So if you've been feeling like, okay, what's going on with my person? I haven't talked to them. Or maybe... We're being miscommunicating. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it at all. I love you. They love you. Don't worry about it at all. They want to be more than friends. That's what it is. You friends on them. What's this person want to say to Taurus? They lost themselves for a little while. Could be dealing with an Aries. What's this person want to say to Taurus? I love you came out again confirmation and i hid who i really am from you who are they really that they're hiding what are they hiding i think they hid their feelings for you they're a friend i regret lying to you they lied about something maybe their feelings that's why the queen of swords came out they want to be honest with you sometimes i stay awake thinking about you so i feel like this person is coming to tell you the truth and tell you how they feel. They regret lying or hiding their feelings. They want to move forward or break through in communication with the Six of Swords. They love you. The Two of Cups has came out twice in two different decks. All right. You can be dealing with the Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Leo has came out. Majority. We have Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Libra. And a little bit of fire. All right, Gemini. I'll be ready in like maybe 15 minutes. Okay. Gemini. The person that you're having a hard time communicating with. 
the five of swords because somebody is too busy trying to win too much conflict and defeat somebody's being petty and spiteful but things are about to change with the tower all right could be dealing with a libra aquarius or a scorpio two of wands a tower a change and a decision that's going to be made clarify the two of wands The Six of Swords, okay, both wanting to just move to calmer waters, gain some clarity, gain some peace. All right, what's this person want to say to Gemini? You two are either going to come together or go your separate ways with this Six of Swords. They said they wish they treated you better. And they can't stop thinking about you. They're still attracted to you. So I feel like they are going to come in with communication, the uh, page of wands, because they are still attracted to you. So you can be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I hear that song by NBA Young Boy. He's like, be with the one who loves you. I think he could treat you better. Okay. Can you make me some? Thank you. Cancer. The one you're having a hard time communicating with. Wants a new beginning with you. Ace of Pentacles. Wants to offer you something, buy you something, give you something. Ten of Cups. And wants family. Wants to be in a relationship. Wants long term. Wants the emotional satisfaction and contentment. It could be a Leo with the sun. They could want children with you as well. Yeah, want to build a family or want to be back with the family. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person is going to give more or they could just be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This person wants to be a nurturer, a provider. So maybe they feel insecure if they're not able to do that because this is all that they want to do. Eight of Wands and they want to communicate. They want things to move forward with you. But there's some hurt, heartache, or pain that needs to be forgiven or let go of. What does this person want to say to Gemini? The timing wasn't right, Gemini. They said you and I were too young. I feel like that's why the Queen of Pentacles is here. This is a very mature type of energy. They want to be more mature, more stable, and able to actually take care of you, provide for you, or actually have something to offer and bring and give. I feel like that's why the Ace of, the Ace of Pentacles is here. Okay. So they'll be coming in with communication, but I feel like they're going to be in their feelings a little while longer, Cancer. You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No majors came out, so. Leo. All right. The person Leo is having a hard time communicating with. The Knight of Wands, it could be a Sagittarius. They're very attracted to you, passionate. Okay. They desire you. But you two are taking a break from each other. The Four of Swords. We have the lovers. So there's a connection here. Some type of attraction here. Could be a Gemini. Libra Aquarius. Sagittarius. Aries Leo. Alright. Does this person have any feelings for Leo? How are they feeling? The world. They feel like it's over. 
but they're wanting a new start. Four of Cups, they feel like you don't uh, like them anymore. You don't even like them no more. And they feel like you wouldn't view them the same way either. Why wouldn't Leo view this person the same? Three of Cups could have been third party energy. Three of Swords, definitely third party energy. So the person thinking about you, who you're having a hard time communicating with, is a cheater. Or somebody who entertains other people is for the streets, to be honest. Okay, so this person still is on the bullshit, Leo. Knight of Wands was the first card out. Okay, I feel like this person is getting lust and love confused with each other. That's why you're taking a break from this person. This person does want another go around with you, but I don't think it'll be beneficial. Could be a Pisces. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So if you start thinking about this person in the middle of the night or out of nowhere, it's because they're thinking of you. Sorry, Leo. I thought something better would came out, but this person ain't shit. I'm sorry. Okay. Anything else? What do they want to say to Leo? I wish I could share my good news with you. So this person ain't... They stay awake thinking about you. They wish they could share their good news with you. This is a very selfish energy. They just want to tell you about themselves. They want to share their good news with you. I feel like you are some sense of happiness or joy to this person. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, there's two connection cards here with the lovers. And the, I'm starting to understand our connection. Um, let's see. Anything else? They're waiting for a sign from you, Leo. Okay. I see Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Air, Water, and Sagittarius. And that all could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, Virgo. All right, the person Virgo is having a hard time communicating with. The Ten of Cups could be a Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, but Cancer strongly. Five of Pentacles. All right. And then the Ace of Swords. I feel like somebody has been faking it. Somebody, but I don't know why the Five of Pentacles would come right after this beautiful, fulfilling card. So maybe someone could have just lost a job or somebody is saying something's missing within their love life or within their family life because there are things that they desire. Knight of Wands could be a Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Wands. They're waiting for more. More chips to come in. Five of Swords. This person is never satisfied. Nine of Cups. Yeah, they want more, more, more things to fill them, complete them. More, more, more. Because the Ten of Cups is the complete total package. But with, with the Five of Pentacles, it's feeling like you don't have enough. Or this person is... Or, second story. Completely second story. The person you may be having a hard time communicating with is not um, materialistic at all. You can't buy this person. Nothing is going to be worth this person's peace, this person's joy. This, You know, this person puts family first, what they value first, what makes them happy first. So whatever you've been trying to do to impress them or give to them, it's, it's not enough. Cause you and then it's saying like this person feels like you've only been given a little now this could be vice versa you feel like they've only been given a little you feel like this person isn't given enough to make you happy to make you satisfied okay some of you want to fight for this or this person wants to fight for you all right we'll see how this plays out no majors came out, but she could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Capricorn. What's this person want to say to Virgo? I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, Leo got this card. I hope that you can forgive me one day. They're hoping you can forgive them. And so many things remind me of you. This person is still being reminded of you. They're thinking about you all the time. They wish you could forgive them. They hope you can forgive them. And they want to share their good news with you. Libra. All right, the person that Libra's having a hard time communicating with. You don't gotta put no lot of honey in mine. It's for me. Oh, sorry. The three of cups, they're thinking about you, remembering all the good fun times. Yeah, they miss you, they love you, they wanna renew the they wanna renew things with you. Healing. Okay, and be more of a nurturer, more of a provider, and be more stable. I feel like this person wants to prove to you that they are mature, that they can hold you down. I feel like this is a feminine energy. So I could be talking to Libra masculine, or if I'm talking to a feminine energy, you're feeling like this about your person. The feminine is saying, I, I can be a wife a mother stable i can hold my man down or hold my partner down i can be that one all right we got the five of cups i don't know maybe if somebody just didn't give you the chance or maybe you feel like you missed your opportunity yeah we have the king of pentacles right here with the queen you are this person's match the eight of pentacles and you're like i can i can prove it to you i can show you i've, I've healed i can work on myself I have worked on myself. The Seven of Pentacles. Give me time. I need I need time. I'll invest in you. Okay. The Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. Somebody did something very childish. Four of Wands. Somebody did something very childish. Eight of Swords. And... Somebody either did something very childish or said something very childish. And it got this, it put a really bad taste in the other person's mouth. And it's just like, no, this person, um, this person's not for me. I thought you were the one. I thought you could be mature. I'm kind of getting like somebody's like putting all the blame on you. Like, damn, like can't, I can't make a mistake. Shit, I'm human. I, it was one fucking mistake. Or it was an accident or I was upset. I, you know, I didn't mean it or something like that. Because I feel like somebody is like super hard on you. Or you're being super hard on them. And it's like, damn, all that I have done, I've put so much work and time and energy into this. I put so much money into this. And I have one slip up or I raise my voice just a little bit or I cuss at you just once and it's just like done all of this and it's just done really okay so somebody has a zero tolerance policy while the other person is like this is still salvageable okay where's the disconnect with libra and this person okay we got the five of wands three of wands too much arguing and too much waiting because it's just like well, they should say this. And you're like, well, they should say that. And I feel like you're both putting viewpoints on the other person when that's not who they really are. Just accept them for who they really are. It's a lot of fighting, a lot of passion, too much fire. Okay. Not enough water, not enough balancing out. The king and queen of pentacles are supposed to be a match, a very balanced. For some, for some reason, there's an imbalance here. Or it could be extra people, five of wands, three of wands, extra people in y'all business, extra people in y'all ear telling y'all um, stupid ass shit in regard to your person. Okay. All right. 
I see Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aquarius is the only major that came out. I see air, fire, and only one water card. They said you are the best thing in my life. You are the best thing in my life. Somebody's already talking about we need to let each other go. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I remember every detail of that day. This person is grateful for the spiritual lesson. They're remembering every detail of that day. You are the best thing to this person. They love you. They do. Y'all have a favorite song. They listen to it all the time. You listen to it all the time. Somebody is fucking capping, pretending like they don't have feelings for this and don't want to start this again. This was a beautiful thing. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, fire, water. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm almost done. Because I only have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Yeah, I'm almost done. Scorpio, look, I'm going to even hurry him up too. Scorpio, the person you, uh, you're having a hard time communicating with. The Four of Cups, okay. And then we have the High Priestess. It could, it could be a Pisces. This person is not satisfied with... Um, the messages they've been getting, the downloads they've been getting about you or about the situation. And it's causing them to be very indifferent and focus on themselves, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Either way, like how this person operates, if it's not a for sure, 100% yes, then, you know, they won't go for it. They won't. Could be a Sagittarius. Clarify the Four of Cups. The Nine of Wands. It's like this person is having their own internal battle within the intuition, the messages, the downloads that they're getting. And their emotions for you, their feelings for you. I feel like how they feel for you, Four of Cups, is they feel like you're a missed opportunity. They feel indifferent towards you. They feel like they possibly can't trust you. But their intuition is telling them that there's something deeper that they need to look into. There's something deeper about the connection. And maybe it is. But this person is not going to jeopardize their stability. They're not going to jeopardize, you know, their sanity. They're, not, they're just not going to jeopardize the hard work that they put into where they are now the person could be a leo you do make this person very happy but if it's good if it's toxic if it's toxic they just not going for it it could be a capricorn taurus virgo leo sagittarius because it's too much uncertainty and too much instability two of pinnacles nine of swords this person doesn't like being in their head they don't like being stressed this person is a very like Black, this person is, is either black or white. And if you disrupt it, they don't cope well with that. Okay. I love you unconditionally. They do love you. They just can't let you fuck up their stuff. <laughs> this person may not be available either, though. This person may not be emotionally available. And that may be their toxic trait. The timing just wasn't right for us. And they said, we both know I'm not the one for you. So they feel that. They feel like they're not the one for you. They do love you, but the timing wasn't right. They feel like they're not the one for you. They said it was their fault, but they blamed you. 
They said, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So you may have been using them to get over some type of hurt or pain. And they stepped in. They did, you know, what it is that you wanted them to do, what it is that you needed them to do. If you needed, you know, emotion, attention, if you needed sex, whatever it was, they provided it for you. But they know they're not the one for you. Capricorn, air, water, fire, Leo, Taurus, Pisces, Sagittarius. Who was that? That was Scorpio. Okay, we're on Sagittarius now. That was Scorpio? We're on Sagittarius now. Okay, Sagittarius. I'm almost done for real. All right, Sag. The person you're having a hard time communicating with, Eight of Cups. Okay, they're trying to find that ninth cup, their emotional fulfillment and happiness for Pentacles. I feel like this person doesn't really know how to... I don't know why I was going to say this person doesn't know how to be happy. Maybe you feel that way about them. Queen of Wands. Six of Swords. King of Wands. The King and the Queen of Wands. Here's a match here. A pair. King and Queen of Wands. With the sun here. So you could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They've been holding back uh, from you. You've been holding back from them. But you two are each other's match. The Hierophant. You both want to be in a higher level of commitment with each other. They do want to be in a higher level of commitment with you. They're willing to fight for this. But something is too much of a burden. And it could be y'all connection with each other. Or this person knows that you're their match. They feel a strong attraction and connection with you. But... You know, everybody has free will, so maybe they're choosing not to do the twin flame journey, soulmate path thing. You know, they could be choosing not to do that. They have other things they want to do, Eight of Cups. They have other dreams, other aspirations, other things that they want to look for, search for, to make them happy. The Eight of Cups is, you know, going on that journey, searching for that ninth cup. Yeah, Ten of Cups. I feel like they, honestly, they're focused on themselves, their self-worth, their, their own self-happiness and things like that. I feel like they're putting this relationship on the back burner. Something is too much of a burden. I feel like this person is going to try making themselves happy first and then uh, try being in this relationship. But I'm not saying you got to wait on them. All right, this person is remembering every detail of that day. They said you and I were too young. What does this person want to say to Sagittarius? Just being near you is intoxicating. Yeah, there's that strong attraction there. I want to feel that way again. So I feel like, yeah... This person is missing you. They do want to feel that way again. And they could either want to feel that way sexually or emotionally. Ain't no sores here, so I don't see nobody talking. Um, they said, I am so attracted to you. You want me to zail you? Oh, okay. They said, I'm so attracted to you. So maybe this was just a physical thing, y'all. This was just a physical thing. They are attracted to you. Just being near you is intoxicating. They want to feel that way again. Okay, so maybe... Yeah, this person just didn't... This. There was no emotional satisfaction. You two barely talked. Ain't no swords here. Ain't no communication. And... Tell me what this Ten of Cups is about. The hermit. This person could have had somebody else with the hermit. They could be a Virgo, but I feel like this person ran away from emotions. They ran away from feelings. They shied away from it with the hermit. Clarify the hermit and the ten of sword, uh, ten of cups. I'm sorry. The three of cups. There's somebody else here. It's somebody else here. It's somebody else here. 
It is. It don't have to be somebody they're sleeping with or anything like that, but we have the Hierophant, which is a marriage card. Ten of Cups, which is a marriage relationship card. We have the King of Pentacles. This person is in a relationship. You could have been married to this person, and if you weren't, like, this person couldn't fulfill you emotionally because they were already in some type of other connection there's too much burdens here uh for pentacles they weren't super open with you or anything like that but for some reason somebody was ready to fight for this nine of wands somebody was ready to be in this relationship or this connection with you here's the king and queen of wands right here but on this side it's like this person could have been two different people living two different lives that's what i'm gonna say I see Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Water, a little bit of Earth, a little bit of Fire. All right, Capricorn. Almost done. All right, the person you're having a hard time communicating with could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. They're very attracted to you. They desire you, but you two are taking a break from each other. Go watch the Leo reading because these are the exact same cards that came out for Leo. All right, we got the Eight of Swords. Somebody stuck in their head about this or stuck on you. They think you're beautiful, sexy. They love y'all conversation. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Two of Wands. They're trying to find, come up with a decision. There's a decision that they're going to make, two of pentacles, but it's too much uncertainty. The star. Okay, somebody does want healing. Somebody does really like you. Somebody does really like y'all connection. Why are y'all having a hard time coming together? The moon and the eight of swords again. Somebody has depression, anxiety. Like, somebody gets in their head so much to the point to where like it'll just completely shut this person down there will be blocks of communication the eight of swords is here twice so somebody literally gets in their head to the point that they are stuck in that mental prison i be i i don't really be believing you know the mental prison shit like no nah, you can get yourself out of that no this person i don't think they can like the eight of swords is out here twice with the moon Y'all, this person really, like, gets in their head bad. Like, really, really, really bad. And stuck on certain things. Like, this, and it could be fears. Clarify the moon, because it could be fears. King of Swords, Six of Cups, fear of telling you that they like you, that they love you. Yeah, King of Cups. It's a lot of love here. Clarify the Six of Cups. Nine of Coins. They, hmm. Three of Swords, Four of Wands. This person could be afraid of losing their independence. I feel like they feel like they could fall deeply, madly in love with you and they get in their head about it. I don't know. It's, it's a little weird. But... This person is stuck in their head. Stuck, stuck, stuck in their head. You possibly make them nervous or make them insecure. This is a very insecure type of energy I'm feeling. I see Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Fire, Virgo, Air, Water, Pisces. I saw Scorpio as well. I see Aquarius, Sagittarius. What's this person want to say to Capricorn? You speak to me through music. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And so many things remind me of you. Okay. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius, the person you're having a hard time communicating with. 
we have justice it could be a libra but this person wants to be fair with you could be a pisces as well ten of pentacles okay this person owes you money knight of pentacles could be an earth sign or a libra strength okay for some reason this person is holding back doing right by you they're holding back from making things fair with you five of wands because they want to win they want they want to win the three of pentacles death yeah this person was moving too slow you try working things out with them but it didn't work death card also this person's plan and this person's strategies it never works whatever shit that they be planning and trying to do and shit it just does not work on you aquarius this person is obsessed or this person is toxic the ace of pentacles so this person tries to give you money or tries to do be there for you in some type of way or give you monetary items or security or maybe this is something you're doing aquarius and it's not working it's always an ending with this person because somebody's holding back from doing the right thing being balanced and being fair two of pentacles too much instability and too much of a burden why is this person holding back from doing the right thing five of wands they like the drama five of wands twice shit five of wands y'all see that they love the drama they like the instability three of wands uh this person could have sagittarius in their chart i think sagittarius got this or scorpio got this check out the scorpio and sagittarius reading why is this person holding back from doing the right thing the star they like the they like the endings and the breakups the endings and the breakups they like the endings and then the healing this person thrives off of instability and you heal them okay it could be another Aquarius. So I see Aquarius and Scorpio. I see Leo and Libra. I see Earth as well. What's this person want to say? My life is not as together as it seems. I told you they like the instability. The instability. Instability. See, they don't even want me to say the shit. This person could have like a speech impediment or they say certain words. Funny. Their life is not as together as it seems, Aquarius. So don't be trying to think that they just is macking. I replay our conversations over and over. We need to let each other go. They know they need to let you go. And they know they messed up everything. It was them. And they just can't do right by you. They don't want to make things fair. They thrive off the instability. They thrive off the high of wondering if you'll take them back. They thrive off the high of seeing how far they can push you to your limits mm -mm. could be a capricorn leo libra taurus um aries sagittarius scorpio and i see a lot of earth taurus virgo capricorn all right y'all this is all i have let me know if you like this type of reading i'll do more of this okay until I see y'all again, y'all be safe. I love y'all. Bye-bye. And check the description box.